Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where I'm going to order a replacement ship. Uh, even though it is expensive, we can afford it. Uh, we can get her under construction uh, out of... I'll see. Um, because, obviously, the Contestate, which is still listed here, has, has in fact sunk, which is a real shame. But uh, hopefully... You know, we'll be able to... I mean, it barely even made a flipping dent, right? Mm. I hate that way the AI builds their... Uh, builds their stuff, I really do. Um, and, yeah, the, the, the inverted victory points is... is they killed one, so build three. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm expanding the uh, dockyards, which will let me build a Super 2. Um, but, uh, yeah, if we can get some more research done, that'd be good. We're getting more towers. Uh, we might get some interesting big gun tech, possibly. Um, don't think there's any other key techs that we're missing, though. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe. Get the 20s, but there'll only be 20 Mark 1s. Um, so I tend to wait to see what they are before I rush it. Uh, what are the British doing? Sending a destroyer around. Okay, the Italians are getting on the case. So that's good. Okay. Um, how are things going? Italian's going to be out for six months. Jesus. Um... Projection's still okay. The Italians are keeping keeping the Austro-Hungarians pretty bottled up. We've we've got a chance to kind of get things prepared and back in order. We're not losing transports all the time or anything like that, um, which is fine. Put add crew on, uh, and we can stick everything on sea control ah we've got a convoy attack defense interesting against the germans this is a cool thing about the french campaign you do actually get to fight both the germans and the austro-hungarians pretty regularly uh, yeah, heavy cruiser and a couple of our destroyers against two of their light cruisers. Now I know, well actually no, we don't know anything about their ships. Spotted to the north, okay. And we're my two destroyers. There we are. Let us see what we can see. First outing for the canal. Well, actually it's not. <laughs> it's first outing for the ship. But we did see the, the class in the previous video. Uh, but it's nice to see the destroyer slash light cruisers. I think they look good. <laughs> this is just your old history from Discord. So we've got the Ladroit and La Rassiliers, I think. Rallyers. I think the light cruisers were the ones with oxygen torps, so I do need to be careful that they... Uh, don't just hit me straight off the mat. Oh wait, no, they're German. I keep having the ones up. They're the, they're the German ones. They are still stuffed full of torpedoes because it's the AI. And it doesn't know anything else. Oh wow, that was a long range hit. Bloody hell. 18 kilometers out with a 9 inch gun. Outstanding stuff from... Oh, they've got a trained crew as well. That's nice. Uh, 
Yeah, they're having none of it. <laughs> Might be able to get an idea of their talk type from their range rings. 14.2, so standards, I think. Bum 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 ba dum ba dum ba dum Yeah, these things definitely are uh, kind of halfway halfway between a destroyer and a light cruiser. They're they're pretty low torpedo armament, just two two uh, tubes. Uh, and yeah, nine five inch guns. Decent. Oh, hello, they're turning. What are you up to? A nine inch hit. So you have Strasbourg and Thetis. Let's have a look at you. Seven inch guns. Oh, you just fired at my destroyer with your uh, torps. Rude. Torpedo type. What are we dealing with? Um. Standard 18 inch. Okay, nothing too horrible then. Armor? Pretty pretty rubbish. Okay. There are the torps. Look at those five inches go. their initial torpedo spread. Those five inch guns are racking up the hits. <laughs> Doing a good job. between the two destroyers but uh, Rassia's or Rallyers I should say might be able to get a couple of torpids in as well 
Come on. Shoot. Good job. And bye bye. <laughs> Lovely. That'll do. 1707 victory points for us. Hopefully. Yeah, good. <laughs> Excellent. So, yeah. Two destroyers are a month for repairs, but otherwise they're fine. Hmm. Not bad. Not a bad little... Uh little battle. Kill some more transports. Uh, yeah. Not, not much going on. Now we get tech next month. Month towers. We lost one transport in the North Sea. Um, I'm surprised they're not blockaded. <laughs> I mean, we've got 9,000 power projection. Germans only 1,700. Um, right, what else have we got? On the way, we've got bigger cruisers. It's not especially interesting. Improved torpedo propulsion. Hmm. Very nice. And a convoy. Over here. Ah, it's an attack. That's more like it. Let's see what the German heavy cruisers are like. Pause. Split up. Torpedoes off. Eleven inch guns. Oh, to Deutschland. With quite a few torpedoes because the AI cannot resist the torpedoes. Seeing the canar in action again. I think they look good, these uh, heavy cruisers. Even if I say so myself. Regular and trained crews. Ooh, fancy. Ah, we spotted the transports. Let's head in their direction. Me and I are their taut type. It's long range. Very long range. They must have uh, oxygens. Uh, they are. They are. They're. Uh, yep. Eleven-inch guns. Triples. Very. Uh, very Deutschland-like. Oh, you mean those range circles? Yeah, it is a little bit gamey to be able to see those. It's also a little bit gamey to be able to ID their uh, <laughs> their armaments and stuff. Um, in advance. Hello. No, thank you. Right, focus on that ship there. I think that's a light cruiser. Yeah, it is. Mm 
Ooh, 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 ooh. What are we looking at? Turn on torps. At least the ones from the light cruisers are pretty easy to spot. Oh, Trevor, 7,725. Thank you very much for the follow. Always appreciated. Come on. Yeah, it's two inch to work. Okay, let's go and have a look at their heavy cruiser. 29.8, so slower than ours. Yeah, 11 inch Cordite TNT guns. Some smaller stuff. Armor's okay. Well, actually, it's not. <laughs> it's like a light cruiser armor. Yeah, annoying torpedo nonsense. We can uh, kind of bully the Berlin into submission, hopefully. But uh, it's the transport, so I need to keep my eye on. That is why we are here. can uh, play with the escorts later. Flying on the Berlin. There's nine inch guns just ripping through her. But uh, it is time to uh, start murdering the transports. <laughs> Very short order. Mission accomplished. This is only right and proper. Goodbye. <laughs> Transfers do not stand a chance. Oh, hello. than their light cruiser. Yeah, we are. Uh, always amusing. How much are their lights? 93 million? That's the same price as ours. Bloody hell. They're more expensive than their heavy cruiser. How come? What makes them so expensive? A number of torpedoes or something? It's crazy. Try some HE, would you? Thank you. Oh yeah, HE, that's that's the ticket. <laughs> Burn it down. Oh no, you don't. Oh, clever. Nice cross torp attempt. Did not work, however. See, so let's kind of end on to me. So I'm going to swap back to HE temporarily. Oh, 
bum, 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 bum. What's my a favorite area of physics? Hmm. Uh, it's an interesting one. I think actually, um, although I came to it very late, um, after my degree even, uh, relativity. It's probably, probably I think, the most fascinating thing in physics for me. It is mind-bogglingly complicated, and I can't do the maths to save my life. But uh, yeah, uh, very interesting. Where did the money go? Yeah, I have no idea. Um, on those light cruisers, why they're so expensive? But uh, they are very expensive. Uh, <coughs> this is actually the German Navy with their hyper expensive uh, light cruisers. It's my ricochet chance. Yeah, very high. Thank you for the follow, Uniform 764. Thank you very much. Yeah, exactly. Need the prestige. I'm just flinging HE because uh, we've got a quite a high ricochet chance at the moment. Destroyed the torpedo. Lovely. I know. Uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, we do have a the the German German ships do seem seem to be very expensive, but quite why a light cruiser was ninety three million when their heavy cruiser with eleven inch guns is seventy. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think they've stuffed them full of full of torpedo launchers. Cumbrian, thank you very much for the resub. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Laws of Gravity using Star Wars? <laughs> I mean, I guess. Um, I'm not sure Star Wars has any particularly great examples of gravity working. Well, I mean... Star Wars, I mean, it's pretty much physics teacher staple, so I'm not going to complain too much. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're watching this on a phone, you're going to find reading all, all the tiny, tiny text quite difficult. Um... Come on. Yeah, I know, it's been three months. Uh, well, I mean, Star Trek's still pretty soft, soft sci-fi. Um, which is fine. I do not mind soft sci-fi in the slightest. I love both Star Trek and Star Wars. Right, we seem to have destroyed a few torpedoes, but I don't think we've taken them all out. Right, we're switching over to AP now. I think we have to. Mate, I've got a forward torpedo. Oh, I thought I had a forward torpedo. 
Oh no, I have to take it off. God damn. Torps off. Get this thing. Down of shells. Come on, put him down. Yeah, I had to take the bounce torpedo off, uh, and I'd forgotten about that. Uh, it was a balancing issue because these are already fairly. I'd already pushed everything fairly far back. Um, Why would you find them in a spread like that? <laughs> it's like a concentrating spread almost. Yeah, firing their own. Getting the odd hit in. Come on, we just need some more flooding. at that range. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What? 
How did you? Why are you not firing? Oh my word! Sometimes I swear. You have a perfect shot. Just fucking fire the torps. Thank you. There we go. Cut them in half with the torpedo strike. Excellent. Good. Good. All right, 3,700 victory points for us, and we actually get good. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, yeah, a couple, couple months for those ships, because they, they were brawling a little bit, but not too bad. One month, and then we'll have the fleet back at full strength. Hey, Dennis. Uh, so what happened was the victory points got switched. <laughs> That's why Austria-Hungary has that many victory points. Yeah, it, it happens. It's a well-known bug in the beta. Hopefully we'll fix it. Uh, it tends to happen in the first battle. Uh, and I did delete my campaign uh, progress file. Because uh, I thought it might have been that. Because I did edit it originally. Um, to get access to uh, the later campaigns. But it, it doesn't seem to be that. So hopefully the devs can fix it. Um, it's uh, it's been reported. <laughs> uh, yeah, VP VP swap bug. Absolutely, it is a very annoying bug. Uh, it does make the campaigns last longer though, <laughs> and it doesn't make me feel quite as bad about losing that ship in the first battle. Um, yeah, the AI was building a bunch of stuff. Uh, how's our shipyards coming along? Uh, not too bad. Got plenty of money in the bank. But uh, no enemies. I'd like just one more fight. Come on. Big destroyers. Come on. It's just the AI building stuff, I know it is. But come on. Give me give me give me something. Give me something. Uh oh, magic building? Yeah, that, that can happen. Um less than it used to. Uh, there, there were quite a few. There are quite a few issues with if you'd edited your save files to get access to the later campaigns, that it messed up and the, and the AI could spam out millions of ships. Um, that is fixed, but if you're still getting it, then you should uh, just go in and delete delete your campaign progress file. Uh, I'm tempted to add another battleship to the queue. That it won't finish is the problem. Like it'll take forever to build another one. Uh... Yeah, well, I mean, we did. We 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 did kill one of their light cruisers with our destroyers. Um, that is an option. We could build up some more destroyers, but. 
Um, I don't, don't think we really need them. Screw it, we'll, we'll just order another one. <laughs> give me another big, give me another big boy. We're gonna go, gonna go smash up the Austro-Hungarians with them. Um, thinking with yeah, uh, I I've done some. You can you can do pretty nice work with uh, the old uh, <laughs> the old. Um, Two inch on a torpedo boat. Yeah, absolutely. Still don't know what big gun tech we're working on. Uh, super propellers. Cool. But yes, so we'll just do it a little bit more. Waiting around. Uh... Come on, give me a five. Italy is running out of money. That's not good. <laughs> um, hmm. Everyone seems to be doing okay in terms of their money. But you, you can see here how many ships each country is building. Italy's building tons, so is Austria-Hungary, which is slightly concerning. Uh, I wish I, I wish I had a battle cruiser hull. Could really use like a cruiser killer type ship. Um, but we don't have one. Uh, what are we on? Mark three sixteen inch guns. Okay. Which is nice. <laughs> um but yeah, not really what what we were after. Um hmm. tell you what, let's let's order up four more <laughs> of these. Because they have proven pretty effective. Just because we might as well spend the money. We're still massively positive. Yeah, a battle against the Germans again. Canar and Tempt. Attacking. Ooh, good. Time to sink some transports. <laughs> yeah, HE chaps, uh, or ladies, I suppose. They're shooting at transports, very long range. Shots. Yeah, 17, 18 kilometers. Oh my god. <laughs> but when they hit, oh my. And down goes another one. <laughs> oh my goodness. One hit kills. Pretty much. One hit doesn't too well. Oh, it's brutal. Absolutely brutal.
No, 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 no. Keep, keep shooting up the transports, please. You have a job to do. It won't take you long. Absolutely savage. <laughs> yeah, both of them go down. Oh my word. Right. Oh, we actually took a hit. Amazing. Well, I suppose now we can uh, take on the escorts. There's the heavy. And yeah, there's one of their light cruisers again. This is the really super expensive light cruiser. Mm. Oh, hello. Mm. Oh, shit. That was a mistake. Yeah, it's got a Q. I'd like to see ammo debts actually like blow bits of the ship off, to be honest. If, if the devs could do that, that'd be so cool. Yeah, focus on the light cruiser, would you? Lovely. A lot of overpens. Never from yeah, the elevens. It's not doing as as well as we were the last time. Don't understand it. Last time we did it absolutely fine. This time they're doing really well against us. Two of us can turn on the spot. Get.
else than ideal. It's pretty much... Wait. How is that suddenly only 15 million? What? I do not understand sometimes game. So, this has gone badly. Great. Yeah, she just took too many hits from those lemons. But previously, those lemons weren't really able to do very much. Really irritating. Just, yeah, mess that up. Of course, because she's taking a torpedo, she's going to struggle. Ah! Annoyed with myself. I mean, we did get to sink the convoy, um, but uh, yeah, losing a heavy cruiser is not ideal at all. Hmm. All right, Legacy. Thanks for uh, stopping by. Thanks for uh, your generous, <laughs> generous, very generous donations. Thank you. Was it the H E eleven inch ammo <laughs> that caused all the damage? Ah, no, let me see. We're pretty much. I mean, it feels like we're dead in the water, but we're not. We can actually go sixteen knots. Nice hit. Yeah, they're running low on their ammunition though. What are you going to do then? Maybe that's what it was. Maybe they just uh, completely blew through their ammunition in the previous battle. This is very typical of the AI. 
We're like, oh yeah, I've got no ammunition, so I'm just gonna kind of sail around, kind of pretending that I'm gonna shoot at you, but not actually shooting at you. Which is rather annoying. Shot at me again, didn't you? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, I'm gonna hit a bit myself soon. Because I'm getting too sleepy, I'm making mistakes. Eighty ninety is just a train wreck. <laughs> I wish it wasn't the case, but it it is. Absolutely testing ending in eighteen ninety. getting some flooding hits. Starting to run low on shells though. Again, I'm not sure what the AI's plan is here. They're firing torpedoes at me again. The AI even have plans. Who knows? So they got four torpedoes left. What you gonna do? Hmm? What you gonna do, AI? Stop shooting in front of them. Better. Worse. God damn it. Oh, we loaded H E? Really? Interesting. I still have some AP shells left. Oh, no, the eight. Probably, I think, actually, uh, a problem with the game, uh, and I'm really glad that they have changed it, was that you had to do the 1890 campaign first, and you have to do the, like, 1890 Naval Academy missions first, because they... It's not fun. It's not fun, the 1890s. Well, not nearly as fun as the later stuff. We have more toys uh, and more things to, to deal with. And I get it. You know, um, there's less for players to worry about. Um, you know, it's not, as, it's not as complicated. But uh, boy, is 1890 a frustrating era to play. Uh, there's those last four torpedoes. And the AI is just going to bugger off at this point. Mm 
turn around and go the other way. Because might as well. we'll just ignore each other. But that is uh yeah, that's an annoying stupid needless waste of heavy cruiser. Really annoyed. With myself. No one else to blame. But yeah, this campaign's not exactly gone according to plan. And of course, as soon as you decide to turn away, the air is like, aha, no, you don't. <sighs> yeah, like you're actually meaning you're going to chase me down. Don't believe it. Right, well, we fired every shell. Just need to end the battle. Go on, give up. There's no way you're, you're going to try and try something with a bunch of five inch guns. I don't believe you, AI. Uh, annoyed with myself though. Really annoyed. Right, can we just just gonna leave. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, they get loads of victory points compared to me. That's really annoying. Really annoying. Ugh. Hey game, if you wanna swap them now, I'll take it. No, of course not. <laughs> oh well. Ah, oh, that's a bugger. That is a real bugger. Well, I hope you enjoyed the episode anyway. And uh, I hope to see you again soon for some more Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.